favorite student and uh, i welcome him i welcome uh, our faculty members gd singh dr ajit is here and all the all other faculty member dr ramesh tiwari i am also wishing him uh, i like to say something about dr himanshu dr himanshu as you know he is a graduate of uh, jb pant university pandnagar and after that he did his mba from agriculture in agriculture business from symbiosis international university and he self employed and he is an entrepreneur in the fodder production and sales for last 4 years and also he is currently heading sales and marketing division of praji pharma solution he has also experience he worked as a key account manager in east india in animal nutrition firm in came in and i don't want to take much time between uh, expert to raise a uh, speaker and uh, you people and without wasting much time i am just uh, requesting to a uh, today speaker dr himanshu to kindly uh, start your presentation dr himanshu please uh, thank you sir it's so kind of you and uh, thank you for this opportunity the interacting with students it's always a pleasure to work with students and to appreciate uh, whatever knowledge we have and share with the students thank you sir uh, so uh, i i presume i'm interacting with uh, a mix of third year fourth year and final year students right yeah yeah internship also internship students perfect right uh, so before i uh, go further into what i want to talk about Uh, students, I had a chance to interact with your uh, batch representatives from third year, fourth year, and internship, final year students. And uh, if uh, I must be honest about it, I was very impressed with the kind of questions they put forth, where they wanted to know about uh, MBA and what all do they need to do to enhance their career. And that was a really, you know, heartwarming feeling that students are so very focused. on how to go further so congratulations to all of you it's a real honor interacting with you now uh, before i get into what uh, why a veterinarian should do an mba uh, i i need a somebody who can give me a response in real time right or uh, uh, I, i actually i can't see the students their reactions is it possible if i can see them is it possible yeah 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 yes this is possible and uh, I, i can request everyone to kindly be visible on the video please uh, switch on your video so that will be better everyone yeah. kindly switch on your video and put the your mic off yeah that will be great that so that will be better because after get the response it will be better presentation yes please thank you right uh, i i i'll request the students that uh, your batch representatives and i are already in a group so if you have any questions or queries regarding the topic feel free to share with them and they can share with me so that i can answer these questions right at the end of the session so that we can flow in a systematic manner okay right now uh, before i get into why mba uh, there are few opportunities that a veterinarian has when he is about to graduate uh, from veterinary as a course from as becoming a veterinary doctor he can either opt for uh, upsc examinations and go into ias and allied services or he can opt for pcs examinations and get into uh, state services he can do his pg in uh, any other subjects and if he is academically inclined he can become a professor and move ahead he can either then go for gre and do his masters from us or any other foreign country or he can look into opportunities in army by working with the rebound veterinary corps or with cds these are primarily the options that we have right now right but if i say that veterinarians are required in industries like pharma pharmacology industries like nutrition industries involving canine uh, pra practices industries requiring where experts are required in reproductive services 
these are the industries where veterinarians are required now while interacting with your batch mates i had a question that so why do we do mba and how will we differentiate from uh, others like for example agriculture graduates who are doing mba and a veterinarian who does mba so i have a question for you and uh, i would request you to answer to your respective batch mates if i ask you uh, what is the highest milk production that you have seen in a cattle what would be your answer i'll give you 30 seconds to answer this question please answer this question to your batch mate uh, to your batch representatives who can uh, you know whatsapp me the answer so please answer this question to me uh, to your batch mate to your batch representatives or class representatives what is the maximum milk production that uh, you have witnessed in a cow even you can answer in chat box yeah you can answer in chat box also that will also work yeah good uh great like yeah 50 see yes good that's hf breed that gives you around 50 liters of milk good thank you now uh, uh, to be honest when i was when i started working i had not seen an animal that would give more than 20 liters of milk hf breed so for the first time when i encountered this in haryana there are animals that are giving up to 60 liters and above uh, i didn't know what to do what is their nutrition what is their requirement how to fulfill it i had no idea and i had to learn this process right my point here being that uh, as a veterinarian uh, you are required in nutri- dairy industry so as to improve the production of animal your milk animal even if it's a uh, indigenous breed animal can we look forward to make uh, milk production for around 10 to 12 liters per day can we look forward to improve uh, the milking capacity of the animal in a entire cycle can we look forward for opportunities where we can improve the milk total milk given in a gestation or can we look for opportunities where an animal conceives in 90 days post parturition is this possible yeah and is probably you veterinarians you are required as a person who has technical knowledge on how to do it there is absolutely no doubt and this applies across industries if you are interested in poultry science for example the average uh, number of eggs given in 72 weeks which is industry average is 330 eggs can we achieve that i mean you will have to explore opportunities what is the number of Uh, eggs that a hen uh, that a layer bird is giving within uh, his productive within her productive life of 72 weeks or if i ask you uh, this is another question that you can answer uh, wh- how many days does it take to make a broiler weigh up to 2 kg uh, feel free to answer this question how many days do you think it takes for a broiler to weigh up to 2 kg great uh, right like so like uh, uh, somebody some mr neeraj uh, uh, you are around 42 days this was the industrial average almost 7 uh, to 8 years ago today the answer is around 36 days it takes 36 days from a chicken one day old chicken to make it weigh around 2 kgs who is the best suited person in today's industry who can ensure that this happens it requires a person with technical know how on poultry nutrition on poultry growth on poultry genetics and how how is the disease management to be done 
what are the practices to be followed what is its feeding cycle what is to be fed when it is to be fed what are the various antibiotics and anticoxidal agents that are needed in the diet which needs to be provided to a uh, chick so that its growth is stimulated 36 days when when i was doing my graduation uh, back in 2005 the answer was around it took around almost 32 to 33 days for attaining 1 1 and a half kgs from that to around 2 kgs in 36 days is a phenomenal progress who does that who is ensuring that you as veterinarians have the biggest role to do it my point to you is simple the industry requires people who have technical know how or they have the attitude to learn technology they have the attitude to improve their skills they have the attitude to learn about nutrition or for that matter breeding or for that matter genetics and apply it in real time scenario let me give you another example where veterinarian feedback has helped see veterinarian is the perfect link between a dairy farmer and a company that is providing solutions uh one of the major ingredients that people feed their animals it straw fills the stomach of the animal biggest challenge is it does not provide high energy the reason being uh, high cellulose and hemicellulose content right now is there a possibility where we can treat the straw and improve its energy efficiency the answer is yes we can feed enzyme treated straw which can improve the efficiency of the straw within the human microflora there are compounds which can increase the ruminal microbial activity there are products which can improve the ruminal motility which helps in improving the ruminal digestion now this is something that is very technical in nature and these things to be made understood by a layman dairy farmer you require an expert who has good communication skills to explain farmer in his language his or her language and for that veterinarians are required across industries this is where i believe veterinarians are the biggest opportunity that given that they learn all of these things over the five year course they now have this opportunity to share this with dairy farmers provided the veterinarians are willing to learn new technologies and they are willing to share this with dairy farm in a language that the dairy farmer understands i'm sure if you go to a dairy farmer and start talking about ruminal motility or you talk about ruminal efficiency he will say he will say i don't care i don't understand for him it, it is it is immaterial for him he just wants production so that's your role and that brings me to the topic that why do we need to do mba see mba is that platform that allows you to explore opportunities after you're done with your graduation whether you want to start your clinical practice whether you want to work in a poultry industry like sugna or winkies whether you want to explore your career in sperm technology by working with companies that are into artificial insemination whether you want to initiate your own dairy farm or your poultry farm or your pig farm you would require an mba because that helps you enhance not only your communication skills but also your people handling skills which is a requirement and if you ever get a chance to interact with people who are into canine practice ask them this question that what is the biggest challenge they face when they are treating an animal it is not the disease it is the owner of the animal which causes severe headache to them because he needs to be convinced what is the right solution right how will that happen one of the easiest way of doing it is by doing your mba from a reputed institute whether it be i am ahmedabad i am lucknow i am kolkata niam nam symbiosis from which i did my mba or if you can pursue to other institutes like ndi or manage or irma you have ample opportunities as students to prepare for mba and then to deliver your best out of it 
So you can naturally ask me this question, sir. If I have to serve uh, uh, animal industry, why can't I do my MBSc in various subjects and then go into the industry? Why an MBA? It should be a very natural question coming into your forehead. And my answer is simple: you can definitely pursue your masters in various subjects, LPT, LPM, or pathology or nutrition. but if you do an mba from a reputed institute you get a wide variety of people you can interact with and that allows to broaden your horizons into various industries also an mba from a reputed institute allows you to work very closely with companies like sugna kemin cargill mars royal canine and help you speed fast your career very quickly so if you're looking forward for a career which revolves a lot of activities which involves a lot of traveling which involves a lot of communication on a daily basis with farmers with pet owners with poultry farmers you the right way to go about is by doing your mba now if you ask me how much time does it take to prepare for an mba an honest answer is one year it takes one year of practice to do it how to go about it you will have to join a coaching you can either join cl time ims or any other local coaching that provides to you now when i say that i can see a lot of students smiling saying sir with the amount of curricula veterinary has who has the time to do it and i completely agree on that my answer to you is simple in most coaching institutes there are weekend classes that take place you can be a part of it please understand that people who are full time working who are into job from 9 in the morning till 9 in the evening also end up preparing for mba and then getting into reputed institutes right if they can do it i'm sure that a brilliant batch of you can definitely do it if the right effort is put in there are weekend classes available for you on saturdays and sundays where you can take these sessions which can help you so if if one year is the time taken for uh, a student to prepare for mba what about the first to fourth year what do they do my answer is work on your communication skills if i ask you how many of you read newspaper english newspaper on a daily basis what would be your response how many of you do that how many of you read english papers or novels or <coughs> literature on a daily basis how many i mean that's a question that you, you have to answer yes sir can raise can raise your hand it's a not a simply simply a self assessment it's a it's a self assessment i mean uh, i yeah. i I'll, i'll leave that to you that how yeah. many of you do it i can tell you from my batchmate story very few used to do it and when i uh, when i interacted with people from other colleges the answer still remained very few so if that is the answer uh that very few people read newspaper on a continuous basis my humble suggestion to you, uh right front of thanks thanks for sharing i do it do almost 3 days a week uh we eat food 7 days a week three square meals right and we do everything on a daily basis why read newspaper only 3 days a week what about the remaining 4 days we need to but it's a good initiative if you do it every day it's good for you right because that is where you will improve your english now one of the basic challenge you will find when you reading a newspaper is you will find a lot of words that you are not able to get it in one go you will have to open the dictionary on a regular basis this is a common phenomenon because english is english so as a frustration because you are not used to it you are not used you leave the process of reading on a daily basis my question to you is i mean i mean i presume you all of you can cook food i i'll presume that and the first time if you ever made roti or chapati was that a perfect circle that you made or was it a map of africa or map of india that came out that perfect roti that perfect square that perfect circle did it come out in first go probably not i don't think so for men who shave the first time you ever shaved was it without any cuts or fringes to your side probably not 
but did you stop shaving i hope not you learned the art of it right same with communication you cannot be an expert in one day rome was not built in a day it takes time to build yourself but if you keep doing it over and over again eventually there will be a time where you would realize that your english is getting better you are able to speak on topics randomly you are able to discuss issues with your batchmates i mean to be honest the thing that comes closest to my mind is rahim's doha which is on karat karat abhyas ke jalmat hot sujan rasri avaj jaat se sil par padat nishan right you need to practice it you you cannot i mean it is not something that people learn while they are in their mother's tummy they learn here people who are your batchmates from different colleges they learn english after coming to this planet earth who stops you from learning it no one and all the excuses of you belonging to a place where english is not a common language that you belong to a hindi medium and it is tough to understand english that if i speak in english my friends will make fun of me that if i read newspaper on a daily basis who is there to discuss that veterinary course is so much that i don't have time to read newspaper is at the fag end of the day your simple excuses you know it i know it i have been a student and i can tell you this is what when i used to read newspapers people used to make a lot of fun of me a people you know people say angrez chale gaye isko chhod gaye this is what the common language was but choice is yours is it it is your career on the line not theirs and today if you pursue this tomorrow it will reap you benefits get this straight in your head it is you and you alone who will shape your career your friend sitting next to you your teacher your boss your colleague they won't help you in your career the person you share chats with during examinations he will not help you the only person who will help you is you yourself so my humble suggestion to you is start reading newspaper on a daily basis what it does is it improves your vocabulary it improves it broadens your horizon it helps you no more news uh, i would be more than happy to know your views on covid 19 what is your take on it how do we deal with it what are the precautionary measures are you discussing this with your batchmates if not once covid once this lockdown breaks down you can discuss this in the class how it happened where it happened what are the precautionary measures this is something that is a suggestion offline i mean you can take this ahead but coming back to mba once you work on your english half the battle is over because in mba there are only two subjects that you have to work with english as in competency communication and maths in uh, logical reasoning and in quantitative abilities you work on these things and trust me you gather a decent percentile you get into a good institute your life is set doing an mba from an institute like iims or mdi or niam or manage or narm or irma or simbi it will jump start your career like anything you get to work in the best of the industries in the best of the places with farmers across when i was working with kemen in east india i was covering right from bhutan till patna so that is almost traveling almost like 14 to 15000 kilometers a month and trust me for a travel junkie like me i loved this travel and that helped me setting up my own business of fodder production so my humble suggestion to you is simple focus on your communication skills right from the word go from today work on it it will help you even if you don't want to do an mba you want to pursue any career trust me having a decent communication skill is very important you cannot work without decent communication right you 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 cannot get away with it it is not like learning guitar if you don't know it it's okay you don't know it but if you don't have decent communication skills you are in trouble because whatever field you get into you will need to communicate your ideas very correctly be it in english or hindi and you will need that knowing english is an added asset focus on your maths i mean you leave maths after 12th right so you need to work on it 
these are few of the examples, a few of the areas that you need to work upon on improving your uh, skills to work for MBA. I, I, I like to quote an example here. Uh, I was asking one of my pharmacological uh, uh, friends who was working in MSD that how did being a veterinarian help him in designing a product or uh, shaping the marketing of the product? And her reply was simple. She said, uh, Himanshu, uh, currently mastitis is one of the biggest challenges that dairy farmers are facing. And the bacteria are working in such a manner that they're developing a biofilm. The antibodies are not able to penetrate that biofilm. And thus, the mastitis continues to grow and eventually destroy the teeth. So I said, what next? She said, we developed the fourth generation cyclosporin. And this drug would penetrate the biofilm of the bacteria and destroy the bacteria and prevent the case of mastitis. Now, this information is pretty technical in nature. How do you put this <clears throat> in a manner that farmers understand, that people understand, that your sales rep can understand is something that only a veterinarian can do because you need to know the technical aspect of something to be explained something very easily on a very simple language. And to do that, you need two skills. A, be good in your technical knowledge. B, good in your communications. And at with your veterinary degree, you're improving your technical skills. I'm sure on that ground. Doing an MBA will help you improve your communication and marketing skills. That for me is your uh, reason for doing an MBA. It takes your career to higher places. It helps you grow. You can work in the field and then do an MBA. You can prepare for an MBA right from the third year onwards and go into MBA after completing your graduation. Choice is yours. But an MBA is an attractive opportunity for veterinarians across board. This is all, uh, right, just again, biology students leave maths after 10th. Yes, uh, okay, good question. Biology students leave maths after 10th. Will they face difficulty? Initially, yes. You'll have to, you know, learn the tricks of the trade. Uh, work on maths and that's where coaching helps. That's why I said you will need to do a coaching thing for you. You will have to find coaching institutes. I'm sure there are coaching which take weekend classes. Because I know, I mean, veterinary curricula is demanding. It is not easy. I, I'll agree on this. But if you say that it is so demanding that you cannot even take weekend classes, I beg to differ. I think, I think veterinary gives you enough time to prepare for your uh, extra co-curricular activities. And I'm sure whatever extra co-curricular activities you want to pursue on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, or WhatsApp, you're pursuing it. So if to pursue for your own career, you can pursue that as well. So that, that I hope answers your question that uh, will biology students struggle a bit? Yes, but it is not that big a struggle that, that cannot be overcome. You can work on it because I, I'm sure you study genetics, which involves a lot of maths. Uh, okay, uh, uh, just a second, Pranav. Uh, uh, this is all that I had to share on uh, my take on MBA for veterinarians. It's, it's, this is my uh, humble suggestion to you. I did it from Simbi in 2019. And currently I'm heading my uh, project in Kanpur. This is, this is a nutshell of what things are looking alike. We require a lot of veterinarians with a lot of techno-commercial inputs in lots of industries. Choice is up to you. Whether you're willing to grab it and move ahead. For anybody who is into veterinary college and thinks that there are not ample opportunities, my answer is he's not looking in the right place. I, uh, that is my only, only suggestion to him. Veterinarians are required across industries. There is no denial of the fact. Only challenge that, that a student is facing or uh, the student has to do is improve his skills so that he can be taken up by the industry. And trust me, the, the, if you ask me remuneration wise, salary wise, I mean, you are, you are way ahead. You move very fast and very quickly if you are up to it. So that is in a nutshell. I'll rest my voice and I'll open the session for questions. So uh, you can type your questions and ask me. In the meanwhile, I'll answer Pranav's question 
there is no any coaching for cat in patna which run classes on weekend basis uh, pranav uh, that is a challenge that lot of people face the answer is online questions uh, online uh, coaching centers are available across india wherein you can take classes uh, on an online basis you can work on it cl does it time does it uh, ims i'm sure does it so there are there are online coaching available where you can take classes as per your convenience they give you the facility of time also so if you are not able to take it from 10 to 12 in the morning you can work from 4 to 6 in the evening or they have other timings also so that is available for you online so if you have to study it you can do it online for you so that answers i pre presume your question that what about weekend classes take it online you will have to take it online any other questions that you have in mind why i can go for mba why not pg if i want to a be go good doctor yeah good great i mean yes you can you can go for a pg i never said no to it uh, i'm sorry i didn't get your name ajit hey mr ajit 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 i ajit uh, are you finally a student ajit uh, yes sir yes sir great ajit uh, you can definitely go for pg in whatever subject clinical subject you want to pursue there is no denying that my only suggestion to you is Uh, mba will allow you to get into other industries as well if you have academic inclination say you want to become a professor in uh, lpm there is nobody stopping you from doing your pg and phd from lvm and ivri who is stopping you from doing that but or for that matter if you want to set up your own clinic for small animals there is no denial that you can do your pg in medicine in surgery or for that matter any of the clinical subjects and go ahead with your career my only yeah. advice to you is <clears throat> if you are practicing and if and there are people who have done that people who have done 3 years of clinical practice done their mba and then entered into private industry there is absolutely no denial of doing it there is no one way of reaching success it is an advice is that veterinary is not only limited to clinical subjects people who have interest in other non clinical subjects nutrition lpm uh, your genetics breeding pharmacology these subjects have ample opportunities as well and we need to look into it that is my only advice to you trust me as a veterinarian if you improve the milk production of the your neighbors cattle by even 1 liter in the entire gestation the amount of respect he'll have for you will be no less than a veterinarian who treats his his or her animal from any case of dystocia or any other clinical case it is as animal is a production animal also right so it is both ways right there's there's this question thank you. uh thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir. all right i request you please put your uh, proper names uh, i don't know who dr strange is but uh, the question is there are various programs for mba what will be the best for a veterinarian uh, uh, dr strange I, my answer to you is simple uh, <laughs> mba in agri business management will be uh, the best opportunity for you uh, you can of course opt for mba from a regular course you can do that but an agri business mba or an mba in rural management will be best suited for a veterinarian for his or her uh, ability again it depends on whether you want to get into marketing whether you want to get into sales whether you want to be technical so but an mba in agri business management will be a best bet for a veterinarian without a shadow of a doubt uh do you have a question sir i did my cat classes for logical reasoning but i am unable to manage my veterinary uh, uh pranab my answer to you is you will have to manage please don't tell me that uh, veterinary curricula is so huge that it is not giving you 4 hours in a day to study please don't tell me that uh, i i think i can uh, if that is your concern i can take it offline and i can do an hour by hour analysis of what time do you wake up and how what time do you go to sleep and help you find those 4 hours where you can study for veterinary science uh, for mba please don't tell me that i i i'll beg to differ you will have to find your time you have to cut down on chit chatting with friends on going out for movies on 
you know, uh, using time on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on YouTube and study for it. Whether you do an MBA, whether you pursue your MVSC, whether you pursue your UPSC, you'll have to find time within the constraints you are working into. People are doing it, right? People are doing MBA after veterinary and getting into I am Ahmedabad. So if they can do it, I'm sure Pranav, you can do it. I'm sure you have no lesser brain than any other person who's sitting right or next to you. You have the same ability and that goes for everybody. Pranav, don't take it personally. That is an answer to everybody who thinks they don't have much time. Veterinary curricula is demanding. I'm not denying the fact. I myself have been a veterinary student and I honestly tell you, yes, it is challenging. Yes, it is not it doesn't provide you that much opportunity as it provides to other courses. But please don't tell me uh, you don't get uh, uh, this much time that you can't study for four hours in a day. Please don't tell me that. I I'll beg to differ on this. No, Pranav, you'll have to find time for it. Uh, okay, uh, Dr. Strange, I, you haven't changed. Okay, is it, is, is it true that students of veterinary get called from I am Ahmedabad for ABM at a percent lower than other graduates? My answer to you is every year percentile changes. Why take that risk? Why not get a decent 95 and above percentile and get a call from I am Lucknow and I am Ahmedabad. Also, your call depends on the performer you fill. So if you ask me this year, I had a student who got a call from I am Ahmedabad at 82 percentile and a student who got a percentile of 94 but didn't get a call from I am. So I am have their own way of filtering students, right? Both, they both were BSc AG graduates. So there's absolutely no uh, one shot way, but yes, a higher percentile increases your chances of getting a call from IMs and other decent institutes. So why take that risk? Uh, okay. I have a question. Sir, is it necessary to give an entry? Oh yes. You have a uh, entrance exam for almost all reputable institutes. CAT is one of the major uh, examination that goes online that you will have to give Aradhana. Uh, Symbiosis has its own test. ICFI has its own test. Majorly, CAT score is acceptable across major good colleges. Uh, Narsi Monji, SP Jan, MDI, they all accept uh, CAT scores. But yes, you will have to give a CAT uh, to get into a decent MBA institute. Yes, Aradhana, absolutely. Are there, are there any other questions that, that you need to, uh, that you want me to answer? Akansha, do you have any question? Akansha is here. Yes, uh, sir. I am preparing for UPSC. I haven't thought about okay, an MBA. Okay, okay. Akansha is preparing for UPSC. It's great. All the best. All the best, Akansha. Yeah, I took, I took the weekend classes and sir is right. I've been taking weekend classes from my fourth year itself. And yes, we do get enough time being with natives as well to pursue other fields. All we've got to do is manage our time and organize our daily schedule. And it gives us with enough time to focus on other areas. Yeah, Thank you, th sir. Thanks, Akanksha. I have a question from uh, one Mr. Bipin Kumar. Uh, Bipin, uh, you have asked, uh, is it necessary to uh, do MBA if I want to go for my own business? If yes, then how? Uh, Bipin, if you want to do your own business, uh, the answer is a personal answer. I believe you can get answers on both the spectrums to do your MBA or not to do your MBA. But if you do your MBA, you develop your contacts with people from other industries, which is in itself a help. Also, once you do your MBA, you get an opportunity to work under various companies. This experience will help you a lot to, to do your own business. I mean, if you ask me, I worked for an industry in Kemen for around five years and then, you know, called it quits and started my own business. But is this the only way to succeed in business? I have not no way successful yet in a business, but is this the only way? No. You can stay over so, so my answer to you is very straight Bipin. If you do an MBA and work for somebody, it will help you become better and not commit the same mistakes that they have done. But to each his own. Uh, doing it though should be definitely helpful. 
ओके व्हाट बेटर एमबीए एबीएम फ्रॉम आई एम और एमबीए एबीएम फ्रॉम अ गुड एग्रीकल्चर एमबीए फ्रॉम आई एम विद एनी डे बी बेटर देन एनीथिंग इन इंडिया डॉक्टर स्ट्रेंज आई दैट्स अ दैट दैट्स अ गिवन आंसर लाइक यू गेट एन आई एम स्कोर फ्रॉम आई एम अहमदाबाद यू यू गो फॉर इट डोंट इवन थिंक अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स डोंट माय बेस्ट विशेस टू यू आई मीन you get a call from any of the 10 top 10 mba institutes you you just go blindly go and do your mba i mean no there's no denying that right any day any day mba from i am says i am sambi i mean that's a brand in itself uh, dr strange right whatever your name is i I'll, i'll call you dr strange is that your uh, online name great any other questions even directly you can ask question If yeah, I'm not uh, putting in chat, you can directly ask. Yeah. That is, if you if you have a question, please. Uh, let me check on if there's a question on WhatsApp. Uh, okay, none. So I think no more questions. Yeah. No, no. I think. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, thank you very much, Dr. Himanshu, for very nice deliberation and very convincing deliberation. Uh, really, I feel proud that uh, I can say that uh, you are my student, and yes, I feel proud, really. Sir, and equally is, uh, proud I that feel... you have been our teacher, sir. So, we have with us uh, our uh, director, of student affairs, Dr. Raman Tirvedi. So, I'd like to call upon him to kindly. share your views sir please our dear sablu sir thank you sir it was really an excellent uh, talk and i on behalf of uh, university um, uh, on behalf of all teachers staff officers thank uh, him and really the we uh, talked i think uh, many must have got uh, some uh, inclination towards mba and uh, my own batchmate uh, i am a fisheries graduate and my own ba- batchmate did uh, i am ahmedabad my seniors many of fisheries students have done it so um, uh, what you have talked very nicely uh, i just remember one thing i just want to share only see my batchmate my good friend he was and he used to study uh, many novels uh, detective novels newspapers and vocabulary is one of the important uh, key uh, you can uh, say they about uh, when you want to appear and get into the mba and every day evening we used to go for uh, uh, evening walking and whatever he has learned that day vocabulary he used to practice while talking with me so every day practice that makes he, uh, made him to learn many new words and improve his vocabulary so these are some of the many tips what you have given i have added just one thing so it really it was wonderful i think we need such interaction with our students so that students can our student and i must uh, compliment and congratulate our uh, dean also and because he has taken so much pain in organizing this talk and and he is also eager to see that our students excel in their future career so i re- once again thank you all uh, for uh, this uh, nice talk so thanks very much Thank, thank you very sir. much, sir. Thank you, sir. So before you, sir. Uh, calling Dr. J D Singh to thanks everyone. So last uh, concluding note, if Himanshu want to say something. So sir, it was thank you, sir. I mean to be honest, uh, the kind of questions that have been put across shows uh, there's a lot of vigor and there's a lot of uh, focus in the students that they want to pursue their career, whether whether they do MBA or whether they do whatever they have in their mind. there's a lot of focus that they have which i i i will be honest in saying i lacked when i was doing uh, graduation i never had this kind of focus but uh, it is good to see that veterinarians are doing so well the world is for you to conquer fellow veterinarians it is only for you to decide how you want to conquer it. that's my parting remark for you thanks a lot sir for this opportunity uh, thank thanks imantru and i feel that uh, many of our students might not have your number whatsapp number so kindly put your whatsapp number in the chat yeah, so that sure, in sir. future whenever they need your help they sure, can sir, contact any time any time so they can note down from the chat box sure. and in the meantime i'd like to request dr jd singh to kindly just pay vote of thanks dr jd singh please 
thanks dr himanshu for his excellent deliberation in very short notice i think and uh, the day i remember when uh, you were in first year and i was a student of final year bsc at pannagar at that time you were very positive and sincere and then uh, since then i am you know very well i am big fan of your speaking essence positive attitude and a smiling face Thank i you, know sir. you very well and uh, and uh, i think uh, you have visited our place and in future yes, also we come with the help our place help of our placement sir dsw sir already has told me yes, that you, you you kindly you organize these type of events so in future also i think you will help yes, us to organize these type of events and um, Thank next thanks to honorable vice chancellor sir for taking initiative to schedule this meeting and has given this opportunity to us for this excellent uh, deliberations and thank you thanks to our respected dean sir for taking initiative have this seminar in very short time and yes, for given uh, me opportunity to coordinate this event in a very nice excellent way and thanks to uh, our dsw sir director research sir and all senior officers of bus for their motivation to organize this seminar and in other definitely and in last but not the least thanks to all lovely students for taking active participation in this seminar with keen interest and today's day they are very much interested to attend this seminar i am i think in future if they will uh, learn something from this seminar they will they will inspire and do something better for our university and our future thanks thank you sir thank you thank you very much dr himanshu again thank you so, sir yes uh, it's fine or uh, deepak uh, yeah kindly uh, over the meeting yeah. thank deepak. you so thanks to deepak ji also deepak also <laughs> thanks to deepak also he used to organize all these things He used to coordinate, so really a great man. I feel uh, I used to say him Bajrang Bali of our team, Doctor Deep, Mr. Deepak. So he's real Bajrang Bali of our team. Thanks to Deepak and Satya for question making. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Satya, thank you. Thank you. He took very pain for making question and all the things. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Imam. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.